Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Tuesday, June 1st, 2021. Alright, let's get started. One across Poetry Showdown. Aren't those called slams? Poetry slams? I think I've heard of that. Let's start building off this answer we already have in the grid. Library caution? I think that's shh. You'd hear that from a librarian, right? Accepted without hesitation? Hmm. Maybe that's leapt at? Like if you get an opportunity and you leap at it, you don't hesitate? That's a little tricky there. Rocker who sang Paradise City. I'm pretty sure that's Axl Rose of Guns N' Roses. Cantaloupes and such, those are definitely melons. All right, let's go back to the acrosses here. Placed a curse on, that's gonna be hexed. And you have to make sure to be consistent with your tenses between your clue and your answer. This isn't gonna be hexes, that would be kind of present tense because the clue is in past tense placed. Your answer needs to be in the past tense also, so it's hexed. First African-American to win the Oscar for Best Actress. That's looking like it's going to be Halle Berry. I think she won for Monsters Ball, if I remember right. Resist as orders. Hmm. It's not deny, right? Hmm. Let's take a look at this next long cross here. He might have done it with the candlestick in the study. Oh, okay, so this is a reference to Clue, right? Uh, one of the characters in Clue that you can play as is, I think, Profess Professor Plum. Okay, it looks like we've got a berry and a plum on our grid today. Maybe we're gonna have some kind of fruit theme. All right, this is looking like Defy. Okay, yeah, for some reason that word was not coming to mind. We've got a BF though. Oh no, I spelled professor wrong. It's E-S-S-O-R, right? Okay, that looks better. All right, save the day. Hmm, be a hero? Is that what it's gonna be? If you save the day, you would be a hero. What is this? Figure skating biopic of 2017. Oh yeah, that's I, Tanya, right? Yeah, we saw that, that was pretty good. No bid in bridge? Is that just a pass? I've never played bridge. Choice at a microbrewery for short. That could be an India Pale Ale. And then broke bread could be eight. Yeah, okay, that looks good. Director Anderson is Wes Anderson. He makes very twee, quirky movies. Let's do the time blank again. Can't be 1970s lyric. Let's do the time warp again. That's from Rocky Horror, right? Subjects of many epics. I guess that would be wars, like the Trojan War maybe. Third word in many limericks. There once was a man from Nantucket. And so a lot of them start. Symbol on a one-way sign, that's an arrow. It's the black and white one-way signs in the US at least. Heidi author Johanna or Joanna, maybe? Um, I don't know, is it Spire? I, I've never read Heidi. Game console that sounds like a pronoun. I guess that could be Wii, the Nintendo Wii. So it's Spirey. Ooh, that's an unusual string of letters there. I never would have guessed that. Joanna Spirey, okay. Enter en masse as a car that could be pile in. There's a lot of exciting action in this puzzle so far. Leapt at, pile in, hexed. There's some good verbs going on. Okay, get better as a wound. That could just be heal. URL opener, that's HTTP. I never remember what that stands for. Hypertext something. Prominent elephant features are ears. Greenish blue, could that be aqua? 
the QU looks pretty good. Let's see. Here's some important info in brief. That could be a public service announcement. Yeah. Jazz band instrument. Definitely a trumpet. So what is this? T-A-Q-U. Mexican food similar to a flauta. Oh, I love flautas. So they're like long, thin, fried tubes. Yeah, those are so good. I'm not sure what this is going to be, though. I don't know of an equivalent to a flauta. Let's see. Wall Street debut could be an IPO. That's an initial public offering. Sia. And we've got a clue in quotes here, which means we need an equivalent phrase for Sia. Something you could say in place of that. That could be later. Both very casual. Is this Taquita? Signify. Hmm. Carpenter blank could be carpenter ant. Get a load of this. Ooh, I'm glad we're seeing this. Now, a clue with an exclamation point at the end of it is different from a question mark. It's not wordplay. When you get an exclamation mark, that means the clue is a definition of the answer you want to put in the grid. So. What is something that you get a load of and load as in like minerals, a mineral load, like a, a vein of minerals? That would be ore, right? Whether it's like iron ore or silver ore or something like that. I'm glad we saw an exclamation mark clue. Those are a little more rare, so I'm happy when those pop up. Um, okay, so maybe signify could be denote. Denoting is signifying something. So it's a taquito. Okay. Well, if I like flautas, I'm probably going to like taquitos, whatever they are. Singer with the 2019 number two hit, Don't Start Now. Hmm. I'm so bad with contemporary pop music. Let's see if we can get some help with that. Blanket, blanket, blank. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. Bad bed partner. Um, blanket hog. Okay. Yeah, somebody that steals the blanket is not a good bed partner. User of the force could be a Jedi. Oh, we've got a revealer. Let's get these two downs and then peek at the revealer. Wordsworth work. I think Wordsworth did odes. ESP and photographic memory for two could be gifts. Yeah. People would say you're gifted if you have a photographic memory, right? All right, let's take a peek. I think we have a fruit puzzle, right? So let's see what the revealer is going to be. Turned out successfully, or what the parents of 16, 19, 52, and 57 across did. I would guess they bore fruit, right? <laughs> That's funny. If you have a berry or a plum as progeny, you would have borne fruit, literally. And figuratively, bearing fruit is to be successful. Very nice. I like that theme. Nice and simple. And I'm a fan of pretty much every kind of fruit, so I'm bound to like this theme. Mindy's country east of 50 across. Okay, well, it's starting with J-O, so it's probably going to be Jordan. And then Jordan would be east of... Yeah, okay. I'm not sure what this is going to be. I'm going to need some crossing help, probably. My geography in the Middle East is not super great. Modern term of endearment? Is that bro? Or maybe bay? Let's see. Titular Mozart opera character. Ooh. Uh, I don't know music enough to know that off the top of my head. Had a taste of. Yeah, this is maybe bay because then this could be tried. If you tried a bite of something, you had a taste of it. I wonder if this is going to be Figaro. Online initialism of rejoicing. Is that for the win? Okay, let's put in Figaro. I just, I know Figaro is an opera. I didn't know it was Mozart. Forgive me, father. Another equivalent phrase here because of these quotes. Maybe it's something you'd hear in church. Father. That's another name for a priest, right? So maybe it's I repent. Yeah, if you want forgiveness, you could repent. 
part of the digestive system in brief. Is this the GI tract? Gastrointestinal tract? I think it might be. That's very tricky, having those two abbreviated initials at the beginning there. All right, let's 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 take a look at our next fruit theme answer. Mario's love interest in Super Mario games. Definitely know that one. That's Princess Peach. Yep, I remember playing Super Mario Brothers on my NES back in the day in the 80s, and that was some of the best times I ever had as a kid. Okay, it's a thought. Could that be idea? Okay, unexciting as a bar scene. Is it just dead? Second word in many limericks. There once was. Okay, I wonder if we're going to get there in here and round out the first three words. Tell Mama Singer James. That's definitely Etta James. John or Jane in court is Doe. Yep, John Doe, Jane Doe. Reddit Q&A, I think, is an ask me anything, right? Marty Blank, Back to the Future protagonist. That's Marty McFly. Love that movie. Okay. Letters in a so-called super vocalic word. Whoa, super vocalic. Does that mean it has every vowel in it? That would be my guess. Does super vocalic have all the vowels in it? A, E, I, O, U. Oh, that's funny. That's very meta. Okay, so I think it's going to be A, E, I, O, U, right? The vowels in order. And let's take a look at what our last fruit is. Pop star with the 1996 three times platinum album title. Oh, she was just on the puzzle a few days ago. Yeah, that's Fiona Apple, right? Nice, I love every single one of these fruits. Berries, plums, peaches, and apples. Oh man, I could go for a fruit salad right now. All right, cuckoo. Um, it's not a loony, right? Maybe is a cuckoo, could that be a noun also? Could that be a loon for like a crazy person? I don't know, SN blank? Blank cat, ski resort vehicle. Yeah, that should be a snow cat. Okay, maybe it is an adjective and it could be loco, right? Another word for crazy. Fashion no-no with a flip-flop, that's a sock, yes. I don't know much about fashion, but I know you shouldn't do that. Laugh for a corny joke. Yuck. Yep. Yucks are very... It feels like dated comedian slang, kind of. Better blank ever. Better than ever. Note after fa. That's soul. Do, re, mi, fa, soul. Yeah. Singer with the 2019 number two hit, Don't Start Now. Okay. Oh, man. I think I just don't know this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to need help with that one. Aegean and Baltic for two. Those are both C's. Lousy? Hmm. Well, if you're lousy with something, you could have a lot of it. That's kind of an alternate meaning of lousy, in addition to just bad. Tech release of 2017. Hmm. Uh, is it iMac Pro? I think it is. I think they're discontinuing that too, actually. Amy, who achieved fame on 42 Down. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, well, this HL is very unusual. And I know of someone named Amy Poehler, right? She was on SNL, and then she went to Parks and Recreation. Yeah, I think that's probably what that is. Hurry, another equivalent phrase could be come on. Another very informal piece of language. Um, okay, so is this Israel? Okay. And then this is Dua Lipa, maybe? I've definitely not heard of that person. Okay. Lousy could just be crappy, yeah. We just have the bad meaning on today's grid. Okay. Spending jag? There's jag. We saw jags a few days ago, too. I guess this could be a spree. 
if you're doing a lot of something, it's a JAG. Part of NYU, that's New York University, right? So I guess it's York. And then Cartoonish Shriek is Eek. All right, let's see if that does it for us. 16, 16. Good time for Tuesday for us, I think. This was a nice, easy Tuesday theme here. Nothing too crazy, nothing too loco. We've got fruit and boar fruit as a revealer. Yeah, nice and simple there. Easy as pie. You could probably make a good pie out of each one of these too. All right, well, that was definitely, I think the highlight of the puzzle, this berry theme or this fruit theme rather. Um, but there were some other nice entries too. Taquito, that's an interesting food term that we learned. GI tract was very tricky. I repent is a pretty nice phrase there. It's very evocative. I like that. Yeah, so there was some good language on this one. Spree, Polar, she's cool because she has a very unusually spelled name and she's pretty well known. So I like seeing her on the grid there. All right, well, I feel like our collaboration on this puzzle today definitely bore fruit. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.